Hey guys, it's me, Alicia, aka Voted Best Hair. In this video, I'm gonna be um, showing you my vlog from the Curl Fest this weekend and also giving my honest opinion on what I thought about the event. So, if you don't know what Curl Fest is, it's basically a huge festival held in Brooklyn, New York. It was founded by a group of women, um, call themselves the Curly Collective. It's basically a way to celebrate natural beauty and natural hair. And I believe it started back in 2014. If you're interested, please stick around for the video. Good morning, New York. We are in Harlem, New York. About to head to breakfast before the big curl fest. Super excited, the weather is beautiful. They were calling for rain all week, but God. <laughs> We cast that out, <laughs> praise God. Oh, but God. Let me start off by saying that I went to the event not as a YouTuber or a brand ambassador or anyone in the press or anything like that. I went there just as Alicia. And um, I bought a ticket. By the time I bought my ticket, they were um, pretty much sold out except for the silver. So I got a silver ticket. What they had on the website is it said that everyone had to RSVP. Everyone had to RSVP to get into um, the event. That was not the case. And the reason why I say that is because it's a huge park, okay? We're in Prospect Park in Brooklyn, New York. And um, we didn't know we were, where we were going. We had the Uber drop us off at Prospect Park. And the way that the Uber driver had dropped us off, um, it wasn't, I don't think, the true entrance into the event. So we came in like through the back way. So anyone could have come in through the back way and participated in the event. It was a public park. There were other people there. So everyone did not have to RSVP to get into the event. That's number one. When we finally figured out how to get to the entrance to get our swag bag, um, it was like an hour long wait to get our bag. And that was a little disappointing um, just because, you know, that's like the start of the event for you, right? So you get there, you're so excited, you're ready to, you know, see what Curl Fest is all about and the line is like, way out the door. Now I did get there around two o'clock. I wanted to have a nice breakfast that morning and we were staying in Harlem which was like a 40 minute drive away. Um, so we didn't get there till two. So I would recommend if you guys go to get there early. You may want to get there even before the event starts. We were there like I said two hours late and the line was like all the way around the corner. You know just crazy. So since we were already in the park we decided just to hold off on getting our bag and just kind of enjoy the event. So we are here, we're up in Curl Fest, y'all. So we took the wrong entrance, but it was the right entrance because we're in here. And everybody else is standing, and everybody else is standing outside waiting for their bag. So um, we get into the event, there's so many people there. Oh my goodness, it was crazy, crazy, crazy. I just was not expecting there to be that many people there. Um, I think from what I heard, there were over like 40,000 people in attendance this year. Um, and so it just kind of got like, I think a little bit out of control. And um, the lines for everything were ridiculous. <laughs> lines everywhere. <laughs> lines were just ridiculous so we kind of just focused on um being in the moment and just enjoying the dj and the music <laughs> And that part was bomb. Um, it was, I felt like I was at like a big, huge, like reggae soca festival or something like that where everyone was just dancing and having a really good time. And that was probably one of the highlights of the event for me. So after a few 
hours of just kind of enjoying the music we went back to see if the line had gotten a little bit shorter to get our bags which they did and it still took us about an hour or maybe more uh, to get our bags so we are yeah. in line for like our dinner. bags the line is hella long like ridiculous so I got the silver bag and this was the bag that came with it which I think is so so cute like I'm I'm really excited about the bag and when you got the silver bag you also got this really cool cup um, which I will definitely be using I think this is super super cute and then you got this uh, curl fest blanket I haven't opened yet. I'll go ahead and open it for you guys. So it actually has the Crow Fest logo on it, and it's a pretty nice size blanket. So this could have been used, you know, on the lawn, but there were so many people there by the time I got my blanket, there was really nowhere to, you know, set up shop. I really liked my swag bag. Um, there weren't any products in my swag bag. Um, from what I hear, the gold had product. Um, but not a lot. They said that you got like one full size Shea Moisture product and then the rest were like just little travel sizes, sample sizes or whatever. <laughs> one of the other things that I thought was really cool was that um, I saw um, a lot of young kids there. My girlfriend had um, um, saw someone, she, a woman that she knew who had her three little daughters with her and um, she talked about how her daughters were just so amazed at so many beautiful women there, you know, um, showing off their curly hair um, and just being individuals and all that good stuff. And so that to me was, you know, what the event is all about. <laughs> Fest is about you know celebrating your natural beauty celebrating your natural hair um, you know being individuals I mean there were so many beautiful women there beautiful style um, all the outfits all the costumes oh my goodness um, was really really cool I don't think I knew what to expect I um, have been to different hair shows in the past and so maybe I just thought it was going to be kind of more along the lines of a, of a hair show and I would have the opportunity to get around to all the different vendors. But the lines were just so ridiculous. You know, there's so many people around. For me, it just wasn't um, what I thought it was going to be. Would I go back? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I think that like like most events this this event from what I hear from other people you know was a lot uh, smaller scale a few years ago and now it's just gotten so big I mean 40,000 people crazy um, and sometimes when things get a little bit bigger they lose um, the essence of what it was supposed to be about and you know in the first place and so um, I wish that I would have gone three years ago when it was smaller. I'm sure I, I probably would have had a much more enjoyable time. Um, so I don't know if I would go back. If I did go back, um, like I said, I would get there super early. <laughs> and um, I probably wouldn't worry about getting a ticket because you don't have to have a ticket. Taking a risk. <laughs> it's not that the thing that you're doing is actually scary or that it's gonna hurt you. You know what I mean? It's a natural part of growth. So grab your fear by the hand and ask it, can we take this step? You know, that's what courage is. So yeah, so those are my honest, honest opinions about the Curl Fest. It's in no way, shape, or form um, trying to be negative or anything like that, but this is just my opinion, my constructive feedback. Um, you know, I think the event <clears throat> is, is great. I think the idea of it is awesome. Um, I think maybe they may need more volunteers and, um, you know, I don't know, maybe I should volunteer next year. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, seize your destiny and have fun doing it. Bye.